Senior day at the Brady Family Stadium at Sarah High. The Fighting Irish was also in the house, ready to play. Sarah came out kind of off their usual. Hassan Mahasin, the missile, got deactivated right here. Brought down by his own QB, but I think he was trying to set up a block. Next possession. Mahasin with the burst down the line. Sacred Heart with some speedy secondary as well. Padres ground game is solid though. Batello, Guy with the second, third, and fourth effort. Gotta love that. And they scored. Mahasin with his third TD of the season. 7-0 Sarah. Second quarter. Great defensive play by the Fine Irish. Bruce Uperisa. Jumped in front of the ball intended for Mahasin. I actually couldn't even see the ball. I actually lost the ball right there. SH with the ball and they cashed in the turnover. Tyree Ivy Jr. with the Moss-like catch. Too much energy, too pumped. Ended up getting a penalty, but they tied the game 7-7. There were a bunch of turnovers in the second quarter. Lampkin hit from behind by Uparisa again and it landed right into the arms of Derek Regans the third. That's an interception in the scorebook, I believe. Sarah defense returns the favor. Turnover, Ryan Mahe. He had a pretty solid game. Stripped the ball loose. Eric Myers with the recovery for the Padres. Sarah took over and another turnover forced by the same guy, Bruce Uparisa. He's only a junior, so we'll see him a few more times. And fortunately for Sarah, defense kept the fight Irish away from scoring. 218 left in the half. Here comes the missile. Hassan Mahasin with a 53 yard burst to the crib. Offense needed that. 14 7. Padres back in the lead. Defense turned it up a notch right before the intermission. Finn Williams with the stop. And Ryan Mahe. Like I say, he had a good game. The junior D end with a tackle for a loss. 14 to seven, Sarah at the half. Third quarter, Sarah on the attack. Patello Gee on the ground. He's a junior, first down. Same drive, how about this effort by a freshman? Yes, a freshman on varsity at Sarah. Welcome to Get Sports Focus, Jabari man. Love the effort. Touchdown Padres, 21 to seven. Ensuing kickoff, Sacred Heart Cathedral. Don't count him out just yet. Kendrick Sanders, he's a sophomore with speed. But check out Sarah's other freshman, Joseph Bay. Touchdown saving tackle made by the freshman. Great job, Joseph Bay. Man and Bay are the future of Sarah football. Fighting Irish settled for a field goal. Derek Keane with a 25 yarder, 21 to 10. SH got some work to do, but Sarah, they just put her on cruise control. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Ground attack to the max. Gee with his second TD of the season. Next, Sarah possession. Mahasin goes for his third. We'll get his stats later, but he was a game changer in this game. Three touchdowns for Mahasin. 35 to 10. Sarah, fourth quarter. Bottom of the fire activated. Senior Jamil LeBlanc. He had a great week of practice. I was there. I saw it. And happy for him for getting this touchdown. And we can't forget about his senior QB, Trace Lamar. Heroes! QB keeper, 49 to 10. Sarah over Sacred Heart Cathedral. They'll take on St. Francis next week at home. And yes, Get Sports Focus will be there. <laughs> Week two spring football, first game of the season for Midi. They took on Valley Christian, and it was senior night. First quarter, Valley got talent. San Diego State bound Dominic Oliver with outside containment. Midi defense played well in this game. That's Connor Gamblin with the TFL. Late in the first, Warriors looking for their playmaker, but the ball was just a little on the throne, picked off by Ian Collier. And that led to this, QB Will Towers. He's a sophomore, QB. Watch the spiral, bombs it down the line to Dom Bacabella. That's a 42 yard hookup. Midi up 
7-0. Second quarter, Valley Christian, they like to grind it out on the ground. Elijah McLemore in for the score. Extra point, no good, but they're on the board, down 7-6. Next offensive possession for Valley. Senior QB Drew Rampelberg with the first down toss to Oliver. I was fourth and five, by the way. Same drive, Drew with the keeper. You got this. Short of the first. That set up the field goal for Will Cuddy. Nine to seven. VC with the lead. Monarchs got the ball back with less than a minute left. Zach Tabancura with a 20 yard carry. Midi with seconds left from right around their 40. Towers managed to complete this pass. As time expires, Benjamin Kim comes down with the ball. Towers got hit as well, so add more yards to that. I believe they got the ball half the distance to the goal after the catch, which led to this 24-yard field goal by Gunnar Weidick with no time left on the clock. And just like that, the Monarchs got back on top 10-9 at the half. Third quarter, Jurian Dickey finally got the ball. I really thought he was going to get the ball more. We were looking for a Jurian Dickey show, but uh, that was pretty much it. That drive dried up thanks to the Monarchs defense. No worries, though. You can always count on this kid. Cuddy with another field goal. That's about a 30-yarder. That gave VC the lead. 12 to 10 with 4.33 left in the third, fourth quarter. With about five minutes left in the game, Valley Christian... Looking to put it away, but they coughed it up right at the goal line. Midi got the ball, but they couldn't get out. Nice play here by Andy Etok. That led to a Monarch punt. And then Valley just run out the clock to close it out. Jackson Berman with the sneak. I think everyone expected a blowout by Valley, but Midi played tough. They've always been tough. Christian Rubacaba with the INT for the Warriors to end the game. And that's it, 19 to 10 Warriors, final score. <laughs> <laughs>